All right, guys, this is the in-depth training session on the shipping tab. What we're going to do is create a couple orders from scratch and, and walk through and, and show you guys how to work through the shipping tab and, and the different options with it, show you how to ship everything in one shipment, ship in multiple shipments if you have multiple products going to different locations, if you need to incorporate a third-party shipping and things like that. All right, to get started, we'll go ahead and just create a, a quick order from scratch. Doesn't have to be anything fancy. We'll come up, select a company. Okay, so we have our order with our company. And now we're going to come over here to the shipping tab. And first we're going to go ahead and just choose ship everything in one shipment. So when you do that, you'll see this bottom option come up for shipment for a total of one. We'll just go ahead and ship this one to the customer. And if you'll see right here, the, you can change the contact if the company has multiple contacts. Uh, the address field, if they have multiple addresses, if they have a you know, billing address and shipping address. In this case, they're all the same, but you know, they may have multiple addresses. You can choose the address associated with that company that you're shipping to. If we come down to the bottom, you'll see quantity ordered. We had a, a total of five, and since I selected ship everything in one shipment, it, goes, it went ahead and, and auto-filled this one in here for us. If we were shipping in multiple shipments, which we'll get to next, you'll see this option will be defaulted to zero, and you can enter in the, the different quantities per shipment. You can go ahead and go up, choose our carrier. We'll just choose FedEx, second day. And if we want, we can go ahead. This isn't mandatory, but if you want to go ahead and enter in an estimated cost, fill out any information in here. And once you actually create this shipment and save it, so we'll go ahead and save this order. When you go to open either you know your world ship or your ship manager FedEx and UPS, when you fill out the information in that program and you know process your shipment, that'll actually the shipment date, uh, the tracking number, and the cost will actually automatically be written back into control. And this right here will be filled. So when you go back after having processed that shipment, you'll see that relative information here. All right, and this right here, uh, you'll see if a company that you're working with has their own account with either FedEx or UPS, you can check this, and if it's set up on the company record, uh, this right here will set to that customer's account for the shipping if, if they're paying for it through their own um, FedEx or UPS account. Okay, next we'll go ahead and create another order, a quick order from scratch to show you guys how to use the multiple shipments. Choose the same basic product. Okay, for instance, we'll have 10. Okay. So we'll go, same thing, you know, created an order. We have an order. We're going to go over to the shipping tab. And you'll see the option right up here for ship in multiple shipments. Okay, so it opens up one for you. Uh, and for this one, we'll go ahead and leave it as it is. And as I was saying, we'll scroll down to the bottom as this defaults to zero. If we only want to ship maybe three to this location, we can choose that. You know, select carrier and service. We have an estimated cost. And then once we have that, we can select this Add button, and it'll create a new shipment for us. You see the shipment's two total. And maybe this one we want to ship to, we'll choose our address. If the address isn't in here, we can uh, select a new address to pop, and this little pop-up box will come up for a new address. And we'll go ahead and give this, so maybe they have multiple store locations. And we'll call this Highway 22 store. One, two, three, 22. Select our address. And you'll see this option right here. If you check this one-time use, maybe this is, for instance, just a one-time thing. You'll never be shipping to this location again. You can select this, and it won't save this record 
on the company record. It won't save this address on the company record. However, you can, if you, do, if you don't check this and go ahead, this will actually allow you to add the address to, to the company record for this ABC company. So we'll just go ahead and check the one-time use. We don't want it to save, and it'll fill in that location for us. Same thing, fill out contact, any information here. We'll go ahead and select our carrier in service. I always choose FedEx second day. I don't know why. I just made a habit out of it. Select our any information we want. And like I said, once these shipments are created and then processed in World Ship or Ship Manager, that cost tracking number and ship date will be written back into control for you. We can go ahead and we'll say we want to ship two here. All right, we're going to go ahead and add another shipment. So we have five left. And I'm going to show you guys the third party option. You can select third party here. So say we're doing business with ABC company, but we may want to be sh uh, ship this product to maybe Pizza Hut or Bank of America. So you could come in here and actually select an existing company if you'd like, or we can create. And when you do this, you'll say, would you like to create a new company or use the company for this order only? Similar to the address, if this is going to be a one-time use only, we can select this. If not, you can create a new company. We'll go ahead and select the one-time use, fills in that company for us. Contact. Create our address, select OK, and it pulls in this information for us. OK. I will mix it up over we'll go overnight. Estimated cost. Come down and we'll ship the remaining five. All right. So we can go ahead and save this. See as an order. And it's created those three shipments for us using the different options. And as far as going through the shipping tab itself, uh, that's really all there is to it. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys a couple other things shipment related. If we come into our explore options, we can go to explore shipments. All right, and you'll see just like any other explore, we have a lot of different options that we can go through. If you want to see, you can sort it by the status, whether it's shipped, not shipped, or if you want to see all shipments, um, you can select ship date ranges, uh, ship due date ranges. So if you want to see, you know, all all shipments that have a ship due date of this week or next week or anything like that, you can come in. Uh, you can sort by the order, the company, all different kinds of options. Just 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 like all your other Explorer windows, um, we can come in. You know, right click your column chooser, uh, if there are certain fields you want to see or don't want to see. If you actually come to it, to the shipment, we can right click here, we can op directly open the order, open the company, uh, we can print our packing slip directly from here, uh, print other, other reports associated with this order, mark as shipped, uh, and then also if you want to export your grid, just like all other, we can see it as uh, you know HTML, Excel, or whatever have you. All right, the last thing we're going to do is show you guys how to import the addresses into the shipment tab. So we'll go ahead and create one more quick little order. Okay, we'll choose our company. All right, and we'll come over to the shipping tab. And you'll see if we want to ship in multiple shipments, all these right here, we can come into this import address button, select this. And we already have a, a sample file created. Once we finish up with this, I'll show you guys how to get that in and where it came from. So we're going to go ahead and select our sample import address file. Default item, this product only has one, you know, one product on it. So these are kind of, you know, in this case don't matter. And also coming from the actual file itself, the information specified in the file. So we can go ahead and select our carrier and service. And we want to make this a one-time use. We don't want to save these different ship locations for this company. So we can go ahead and select OK. You see it imported those four for us, and this can be 
a great time saver if you're shipping to a good amount of locations. And so it created all these shipments for us, fills in that FedEx second day, the address, and the quantities for us. And now I'm going to go ahead and show you guys this right here on our wiki. If we go to the control wiki and then the how to's, and if you scroll down here, you'll see the shipping tab, all different options. You know, I would highly recommend you know, taking some time to kind of read through these. They're very good, very beneficial, easy to follow. And especially this one right here, the how to import address, it walks you through step by step on how to actually create this file. And you'll see the company, the contact, the address, the different addresses, phone, email, all this information. And over here, this line item, one, two, three, four, that's where the quantities per shipment are being pulled from. So when I, I'll go back and show you those four shipments that we just imported, and you'll see the first shipment will have a quantity of five, three, three, four, and it's going down by a line item basis. So if we come back into control, we open up our first shipment, it should have a quantity of five, okay? And then we'll open up our next one, and it'll be three, and so forth. So like I was saying, the wiki article on how to import it will show you step by step how to get the file and how to put in the information that you need and how to save it. Once you have that, it's as simple as coming to the shipping tab and selecting your import addresses and selecting the, the appropriate file. And it'll go ahead and import those directly for you instead of having to go through and create up to however many shipments you have. You know, you may have an order being shipped to 15 different locations instead of having to go in here manually and doing them one by one. It's a big time saver by you know, having that file to go ahead and import.